Oh, thank goodness it works. I hope. So yeah, today we're going to take a look at Microsoft's version of OS 2. Now, I'm going to be honest with you right now. I am not an expert in OS 2. I know very little about it. In fact, this is probably the only successful installation I've ever had of it because every other time I've attempted to install it, including the IBM versions, it always failed for some reason. And apparently that's not uncommon. It's got very strict requirements for compatibility. And because my knowledge is very limited, it's not going to be this whole overall encompassing how to guide an OS 2, super detailed history, anything like that. Although, real quick, for those that aren't aware, it was initially supposed to be a collaboration between IBM and Microsoft to release a new operating system for PCs, specifically IBM PCs, although in theory it would work with others as well. But the partnership eventually fell apart. IBM went on to develop OS2 further with OS2 version 2, 3, and then OS2 Warp. And Microsoft went on to develop Windows NT instead. And well, we know which one went out since a lot of you are probably watching this on Windows 10 or 11. But early on, Microsoft did release their own version of OS 2, and that was version 1.3, running Desktop Manager instead of Program Manager. And you may have noticed that this looks kind of like, you know, Windows 3.1 with program groups and everything, although the layout is obviously a little bit different, where there, it's an icon and a name versus just individual icons with a name below. You can change it to just text only if you want, if you're really boring. But, you know, you've got some of the same options that you had in 3.1 where you can rename different icons and things like that. Again, not sure what a lot of these things do, and I don't want to mess with them because it took me several times to get this to install. First time it got to the very end, and then all of a sudden it gave me an error. It said something about couldn't, you know, find a partition to install to, which is weird because it had just gotten done installing somewhere. I pulled the CF card out, hooked it up to another computer, and there was nothing there. I'm like, what, what, what did you just do for like the past half hour? Anyways, got it installed, obviously, and working and everything. Or at least I hope it all works. I, Like I said, I don't know much about it, so I haven't messed around with it too much. This group main here always seems to open up by default, and you'll see in the Desktop Manager, which is equivalent to Program Manager, you've got three groups that are there, Main Utilities, and this one we'll get to in a minute. But this one always opens up by default. And you've got File Manager, which is kind of similar to the to WinFile, but not really because you don't have two panes. You have one pane, and I've gone through trying to see if there's a way to get multiple panes, and I have not been able to. I'm not exactly sure if that's even a possibility or not, and I don't want to break anything, so I'm not messing with anything too much. Uh, there's also an option here for B. I don't have a second floppy drive. I think that's just default, so I'm not sure how to get rid of that, and it doesn't really bother me anyway. It does not have an option for the CD-ROM drive. There, I don't believe there's any CD-ROM support in this version of OS 2. Something else that happens is, do you want to save your settings? So you, if you have a certain layout that you like, you can save it. I do not, so we're just going to do that. OS 2 window and full screen, this is basically the command prompt, OS 2's version. Print manager, which always seems to be running in the background. In fact, during installation, you have to configure printer options, even if you don't have a printer to install. I don't have a printer installed, so, but that's, it seems like that is always running. Not sure why that is. I'm sure people that are familiar with uh, OS2 know more about it. But if we open this up, there you go. There's your command prompt, although they call it the command interpreter. And, and as you can see, this is the windowed mode. You've got control escape equals task list, which is just the task list of the operating system itself. You're familiar with it probably from Windows 3.1, was 9598. Task Manager later on, of course. So, and if you type help in, just like any other command prompt, you get some help options, of course. Basic DOS commands do work. I wonder if we can do help dir. Apparently not. So, but it, the, at least the basics are there. I wonder ls, that probably doesn't work. If we do cls or clear screen, does clear work? It does not. So CLS works, whatever. It's a command prompt. Yes, I don't care. And then, of course, a full screen one gives you a nice full screen. So I know, groundbreaking stuff. And then we've got OS2 System Editor, basically Notepad for all intents and purposes. So we'll close that. Next one is Utilities, and this contains the control panel, which 
is very, very limited in this version of OS 2. You've got screen colors, which there's no built-in themes, it seems. You can just customize everything and that's it. You do have defaults. So you can reset everything back to the default if you don't like your color scheme, but it doesn't seem like there's a way to save it, which is kind of disappointing. Border width, separate option there. Warning beep, we'll leave that on because there's no sound support in this version. Mouse settings, very basic again. Logo display, I'm not sure what that is. I want to say it's probably a screensaver. Country, obviously I got to set to US because I'm in the US. Com port settings. Installation, you can add delete fonts, add drivers. Q driver, I'm not sure what that is. Q driver. Choice to add a Q driver to your system. Q driver pair is a file that you want to print for the printer driver. Oh, there you go. Hopefully that explains it for y'all because uh, that's very limiting, but that's okay. But yeah, the control panel itself, very limited options, not much to it. Copy diskette. It's basically just a utility for the man prompt to make a copy of a floppy disk. I'm betting it's probably nothing fancy. I don't know if this will do like a sector sector copy, a raw copy, or if it just takes files from one disk to another. Compare disk gets label, disk gets format. You got check disk, which was a DOS thing and then became part of Windows NT. Whereas Windows 95 and the rest of the consumer line continued to use ScanDisk, which was also part of DOS. This fixed disk utility, kind of like Disk Manager in Windows NT and even modern Windows. Not much to show here because I only have the one disk. Uh, we do not want to save any changes. Uh, print picture, display picture, convert picture file. I don't know if I have any pictures on here. Let's see. Star.met. So I'm guessing that they're all right, because I don't even know what an MET file is. But I'm willing to bet that the convert can probably convert from a few different formats, maybe a bitmap, PCX. I don't have anything, so can't really show you that one. There is this lockup keyboard and mouse option. That's the uh, OS2 logo you can choose. Timeout, password. I don't want a password but you have to have one if you want to lock the screen. So, you know, nothing exciting, but it's real, real basic overview of what I've learned of this version of OS 2. Desktop manager, then I also have this Microsoft Word, which we'll get to in a bit. You can create new groups if you want, properties for existing groups. And here's shutdown. The interesting thing is, is there's no reboot option. It's a shutdown menu, and then you can do control out delete from there if you want to reboot. So I'll show you that at the very end, of course. In the meantime, let's go to the only application I have installed, and I installed this because it had the fewest disks, and it's Microsoft Word, and I figured I know enough about Word to be able to go into it. So as you can see, it's literally just Microsoft Word. Other than the fact that Word nowadays uses the ribbon, it's not really that different. Here's your, well, the font list is very uh, empty. Um, cool, different types of text styles, header one, two, well, they call it heading now, but you know, typing documents. I don't know if there's a spell check in here. Oh, there's a spell check. Oh, but <laughs> so yeah, there is a spell check in here. So that's good to know, but I mean, it's word, you know, there are some sample documents they do include. So you've got this here, additional information about word for OS two how to print, HPFS and FAT file name interaction. FAT limits you to eight characters, dot three characters. So the name of your document can only be eight characters long and you have dot, and then in this case, it's used dot DOC for doc. Uh, the HPFS file system lets you do up to 256 characters. And if you've ever messed around with any other version of Windows since 95, which includes long uh, file name support. It does also save a fat compatible version of the file name, which will usually be truncated. It'll be the first six characters of the file name, a tilde, and then a one or two or three or whatever, and then dot, whatever the file extension is. So that seems to be no different here. If we go into, where is the examples dot doc? Oh yeah, so this has macros in it. I tried playing around with them earlier and the system froze, so I'm not messing with that again. 
again, nothing exciting. It's Microsoft Word, but again, this is the only application that I've got to show off. So this is what we get to go with. Here you can install the an actual macro, and then you open up examples.doc for an implementation. Again, not messing with that because last time I tried to run a macro on here, it froze up and I was worried that I might have lost everything. In fact, once I'm done with this, I'm going to do an image of this CF card so that I always have a working OS2 install if I ever need it for any reason whatsoever. But that's all there is to it. I mean, it's Word. And last but not least, or actually in this case, it kind of is, we go to shutdown. You can save some settings and things like that. Window uh, layouts, I believe, if you had any groups open. And that's it. You hit shutdown and that's it. It's instant. It's not like with Windows 95 or NT where it'll tell you, please wait to shut down your computer. And then you get a screen that says, hey, you can shut down now. In this case, it's just shut down. But as you saw, there was no restart option. Instead, you just do control out delete from here and it'll reboot your system. So that's really it. I mean, it's not, again, not super engaging. I'm not an expert in OS2. Just started getting into it. So if you guys have any tips, tricks, leave them down below and experiences. Should I never, ever, ever touch OS2 again because it is a nightmare? Totally understand and I will heed that advice. But otherwise, thanks all. I'll catch you later.